Neanderthals are to blame for the size and form of human noses. According to a recent study done by scientists from University College London, UCL, Neanderthal genetic DNA is what gives us their distinctive nose shapes. This research clarifies how natural selection shaped our facial traits and adds to the mounting evidence that Neanderthals and prehistoric humans interbred. According to a study that was recently published in the journal Communications Biology, a certain gene that causes a higher nose, measured from top to bottom, may have evolved as early humans acclimated to colder climates after leaving Africa. We have been able to learn that our own ancestors apparently interbred with Neanderthals, leaving us with trace amounts of their DNA, in the last 15 years since the Neanderthal genome has been sequenced, according to Dr. Kostab Adhikari, co-corresponding author from UCL Genetics, Evolution and Environment and the Open University. The scientists discovered that certain Neanderthal DNA influences the way our faces look, possibly providing an evolutionary benefit that has been passed down through thousands of generations. How it was conducted. More than 6,000 volunteers from Latin America participated in the UCL-led Candela project, and their data were examined by the researchers. These individuals, who were drawn from Brazil, Colombia, Chile, Mexico, and Peru, had a mixture of European, Native American, and African heritage. The researchers were able to find links between various facial features and the presence of particular genetic markers by comparing genetic data from the subjects with images of their faces. They recently discovered 33 genomic areas associated with face shape, of which 26 were duplicated in analyses of data from individuals of different racial and ethnic backgrounds, including those from East Asia, Europe, and Africa. What the scientists discovered. The researchers found that many participants in their study who were of Native American heritage, as well as those from a different cohort who were of East Asian descent, contained genetic material from Neanderthals in a gene area known as ATF3. The researchers discovered evidence of natural selection in this gene region, suggesting it conferred an advantage to those carrying the genetic material. This genetic material contributed to greater nose height. As our noses can assist us regulate the temperature and humidity of the air we breathe in, different shaped noses may be more adapted to varied climates that our ancestors lived in. This theory has been around for a while. According to research first author Dr. Ching Li of Fudan University, the gene we have uncovered here may have been inherited from Neanderthals to assist humans adapt to colder regions as our ancestors went out of Africa. The importance of their diverse sample was emphasized by co-corresponding author Professor Andres Ruiz Liners from Fudan University, UCL Genetics, Evolution and Environment, and Ex Marseille University. The majority of genetic research on human diversity have focused on the genes of Europeans. However, the wide sample of individuals in our study from Latin America broadens the applicability of genetic study findings and aids in our understanding of the genetics of all people. This study represents the second time that DNA from ancient humans, as opposed to Homo sapiens, has been found to affect our facial features. In a 2021 study, the same scientists had discovered a gene regulating lip shape that was inherited from the prehistoric Denisovans. Researchers from the UK, China, France, Argentina, Chile, Peru, Colombia, Mexico, Germany, and Brazil participated in the study. Information on Neanderthals between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago, a species of hominids known as Neanderthals, or Homo neanderthalensis, inhabited in Europe and some regions of Western and Central Asia. They are Homo sapiens' closest extinct relatives, and the two species had a common progenitor that lived between 600,000 and 800,000 years ago. Characteristics of the body Neanderthals had a more robust build and were shorter and stockier than modern humans. Their faces were distinctive with a forward-projecting mid-face, a receding chin, and a pronounced brow ridge. They had somewhat larger craniums than modern humans, which suggests that their brains were about the same size. Due to their short limbs and barrel-shaped chests, which helped to retain body heat, Neanderthals were well adapted to frigid regions. Culture and Conduct The ability to make and use tools, especially level made stone implements, was shared by Neanderthals. They engaged in huge mammal hunting, taking down rhinos, deer, and woolly mammoths, and there is evidence that they also ate plant-based meals. They relied on fire for heating, cooking, and defense. Neanderthals most likely had intricate social structures and lived in tiny groups. 
They took care of their sick or injured family members, and there is proof of purposeful graves, which suggests they held cultural or religious beliefs of some kind. Relationships with Homo sapiens Scientists are still debating the precise link between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Genetic proof, however, demonstrates that the two species did interbreed. As a result, groups of modern humans outside of Africa have 1-2% of Neanderthal DNA. Demise The causes of the demise of the Neanderthals are still not fully understood. It is thought that a number of factors, such as competition for resources with contemporary humans, climate change, and the development of illnesses, may have played a role in their collapse. Additionally, some experts contend that integration through mating with Homo sapiens may have contributed to their eventual extinction. Recent findings. Neanderthals are now better understood thanks to developments in paleoanthropology and genetics. In 2010, the Neanderthal genome was sequenced, revealing both their genetic similarity and distinction from contemporary humans. Additionally, Neanderthal genes have been found to still affect some current human group's appearance, health, and behavior.